Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. A man has been jailed for life this morning by the non-jury special criminal court for the murder of the manager of the Sunset House pub in Dublin. Liverpool native David Hunter had denied the murder of 35-year-old Michael Barr at the Sunset House pub in Dublin's North Inner City on the night of April the 25th, 2016. So David Hunter is the second man to be found guilty of murdering Michael Barr. In January 2018, Eamon Cumberton of Dublin was also convicted of murdering him. So Hunter was one of the masked gunmen who executed the 35-year-old. He entered the bar in a boiler suit and a rubber Freddy Krueger mask and he gunned down Michael Barr. The getaway car was torched by the gang where police found four guns, a burner phone and clothing, including ski masks on the back seats. Hunter, whose DNA was on the masks, insisted he'd travelled to Liverpool to Ireland 48 hours early to watch UB40 gig, but the gig had already happened. So in a victim impact statement, read by the prosecution barrister, Mr Dominic McGinn, Mr Barr's former partner, Jade O'Shea, who has a child with Mr Barr, said that their six-year-old daughter constantly asks for a father and that since the brutal night of April the 25th, 2016, their lives have been turned upside down. So in a victim impact statement, Mr. Barr's sister, Nolene, said her brother was brutally taken from the Barr family and from his five children. She said that after learning of Mr. Barr's death on social media, she was found in pieces on the floor and described his death as a nightmare for the family and his children. She asked, how can you measure a life in drugs or money? She said the family had been through mental torture and described her brother as a talented sportsman and a family man who was a gentleman. So delivering sentence, Mr Justice Alexander Owens, sitting with Judge Gerard Griffin and Judge David McHugh, backdated Hunter's life sentence to April 2019 when he was first arrested on a European arrest warrant. Speaking outside court, Detective Superintendent Carl Murphy said that the shooting of Mr Barr was cold and a callous murder. He extended his sympathies to the Barr family and said that guard investigation into the murder was still ongoing. I say rest in peace Michael Barr and my condolences go out to your family. So with regards to the night of the shooting, as I stated, two armed men wearing boiler suits and rubber Freddy Krueger masks went into the pub at around 9pm and they shot Mr Michael Barr five times in the head, once in the leg and once in the shoulder. There were a number of witnesses in the pub at the time and one of the witnesses stated that they heard five or six shots and saw Mr Barr on the ground. She then ran outside and saw two men in black running from the scene towards the car. Another person told the trial, when the door opened, I thought it was a joke. People were enjoying themselves. I heard a few bangs and I saw two chaps in wrinkly rubber Halloween skin colour masks. Someone shouted, get down, but my bag got caught and then the mirror smashed all over me. Crawling around the floor and I crawled over to him and blessed him because I'm religious. I crawled around looking for friends and then the guards burst in and then they were worse than the other ones telling everyone to get down. So as I stated, Hunter had claimed he came to Ireland to Liverpool on the ferry two days earlier to see a UB40 concert and he also claimed that he had left the ski masks with his DNA in the getaway car two months earlier when he came to Ireland in February of that year to steal a car. However, he could not explain why his DNA was found on the latex mask which the court found he was wearing on the night of the murder. Hunter also received a phone call an hour after the murder from one of the four phones used on the night. He told the guards that he had taken a call that night from a man looking to buy his red BMW car, which he bought to Ireland to sell. The special criminal court found this to be unbelievable and untrue. So the court found it more likely that when the gang could not get Hunter on the burner phone that was dropped after the murder that night, they called him on his personal UK mobile. And Hunter admitted that he bought a new phone in Hollyhead before he boarded a ferry in Dublin two days before the kidding. So that's some latest news coming from Dublin where a gunman has been jailed for life for the murder of Michael Barr. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.